Hey everyone, welcome to TheRevitKid.com. Um, today is just going to be a quick tip on Lumion, actually. Um, this is sort of a follow-up to another tutorial I recently posted showing how to align a Revit view with a photograph. Um, this is how to align a Lumion view with a photograph. Um, so the importance of this is pretty cool. Um, what you see here on my screen is a reference image. This is a, a progress image of this of this project. And you can see there's the existing house. Here's the um, new addition. And I wanted to make a rendering that showed the um, final house within this image. Um, and so um, here's the Lumion rendering. So this is the default or the raw Lumion rendering. And then when you combine them all in Photoshop, you get something kind of like this which is a, a nice meld between um, the Lumion rendering, which is the, the middle piece here. And um, there's a blend between some Lumion and some existing real photograph stuff. So it's pretty cool to be able to align your photos with your renderings and um, be able to do some cool Photoshopping. Um, another thing I did with this is I also was able to make an image like this, um, which well, this is actually a little smaller than I want it to be, but I'll zoom in for you guys. And so what this image shows is it's a progress image um, showing, oh, there we go, uh, existing under construction. And then this would be complete, which is actually just a rendering right now. So kind of cool thing that you can do, and it makes it really simple. So let's jump right into it. I have, uh, this is Lumion 9.3. This is a Revit model um, brought into Lumion. All the materials are set up. I have a bunch of videos on how to do that. Um, feel free to check it out. Um, I'll link a video below of my design process. It's not this project, but um, it's a very similar process. So all you do in Lumion, it's actually much easier than the Revit process, is we go to the photo view. And what you want to do is you want to you create a snapshot. So I'm just in the photo editor. You want to create a snapshot that's very similar to your reference um, image, um, as close as you can. So if I look at my reference image, you can see um, it's already pretty close um, with, with the exception of a couple uh, more extreme angles. But let's do something like this. So here's our reference image. This is kind of close to our reference image. And I'm going to take a picture. So in Lumion, you just say store camera, it snaps your photo. So then this way, if you go into other views and you hop back, uh, it saves your view. Okay, so now in Lumion, what you want to do is add an effect. You want to head over to various, which is at the very end. And you want to do an image overlay. So what this allows you to do is place an image on your scene, and then you can also control the opacity. So if I choose my file and I jump over to insert that image, which is uh, right here, you'll see it actually places the image on your view. Unfortunately, what it does is it kind of smushes it a little bit, um, but this will get you close. It, it depends on the, the aspect ratio of your image and your view. If you want this to be perfect, you might want to change the aspect ratio of your image by cropping it. But this is going to get you pretty close. So you could see if I slide the fader, um, I can actually get a nice view where I can start aligning. So I'm moving my camera now, and I'm going to try my best to align this camera view to this image. And so I'm just moving around. I'm trying. To, I'm playing with different areas, different locations to see how close I can get this thing. Another thing you might want to do if you know if you know the camera that. Uh, you used to take it or someone else used to take it, you could probably change the focal length to try and get something closer to what um, to what they or you might have used, which is helpful. For those of you who are familiar with photography, um, you'll know that that does play a pretty big part. So let me just zoom out. I think this one was a 20 something millimeter actually. Um, so there we go. So now I'm, I'm just aligning and it's, it might be a little hard to tell on your screen. Um, there's actually a tree in the way now, which we may have to fix, but that's okay. That's actually getting pretty close. So all I'm doing is I'm just moving my camera around, up, down, you know, left, right, whatever, um, until I get some, some pretty close um, perspectives as far as this image is concerned. And so, oops, didn't want to do that. And so then if you go back to the fade, um, you could see... I'm pretty close here. So I want to snap, store this image. And then from here, I can just pump out the rendering. So what I'll do is I'll just grab some of the effects from uh, one of these other views. So if I go to edit, copy effects, I'm going to edit paste effects here. 
one of the things it did is it turned on two per perspective, which I don't want to do for this one. And then I can pump out this rendering. So let me just render this photo. I'll render it to my desktop. Okay, so now that this rendering's done, you can see it took 38 seconds, which is pretty good. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna jump into Photoshop, where I already have my reference view open, and I'm going to place my image. So that image is on my desktop. I'm gonna throw this on here. So now I have an image placed, and I can do whatever I want in Photoshop. So I'm not gonna to go too far into the into the uh, Photoshop uh, photoshopping of it, but um, what I can do is um, simply create an alpha mask, and uh, and you know you can start blending. Obviously, the color needs to be adjusted and stuff, but um, just with a quick alpha mask and a little bit of blending, I could probably get something pretty good um, to to show you what the scene would look like. So you can see just like that. So that's it. Bring in, um, create a camera view, bring in your image on, under image overlay in Lumion, um, adjust your camera as best you can, export it, and then do some Photoshopping. So I hope that helps you guys, um, and I can't wait to see some of your renderings.